front door is locked and your phone is switched off. It's match time. And nothing can come in the way of a head coach and his blood bowl. Yes, good evening everyone and welcome back to the Sage Streaming Blood Bowl 2. We've got a game for you tonight in the Orca Cola Championship and contrary to my usual MO, I actually had a few beers because I had a friend over for dinner and chat and stuff. So uh, that's going to be interesting. Good thing that OCC games are always important because we're playing in the Championship Division and there are no playoffs. So uh, yeah. Bad Sage. Anyway, uh, big Nurgle team, small Wood Elf team, round three. Uh, let's have a look at the squads that we have. So, uh, I have a plus strength tree, which is a bad idea, but it was fun. Uh, I have three agility fives, uh, both dancers, one with frenzy and sidestep, and one with strip ball. And, of course, big shoes to fill Eki, whose shoes are properly filled and then some, because agility five movement ten leap is very, very nice on a catcher. We have two blodge catchers and a rookie one. Uh, we have uh, a dodge wrestle kick. Oh, I thought I lost my kicker, but I didn't. That was the garter. Okay. Hmm. So no Dolphar then. Okay. Good to know. Uh, dodge wrestle and a rookie. I get one journeyman, I think. 13, 12, 11, 10. Yeah, one journeyman, which would put me on 1850. And I'm playing against 2180 Nurgle. Now, these Nurgle have a lot of Claw Mighty Blow. They bought a new beast of Nurgle, which makes a lot of sense because tentacles are helpful to have against a team like mine. Um, in addition to the new beast, they have block Mighty Blow Claw on all four warriors. Three of them also have guard. One of them has diving tackle. Good to keep in mind. And two have tackle. So that's, uh, that's a bit of a shame because we don't like diving tackle and tackles. What else? He's also got a Strength, Mighty Blow Piling on Frenzy Pestigore with minus armor. He's got a Mighty Blow Piling on Tackle Pestigore. He's got a Mighty Blow Piling on Strength Pestigore. Uh, uh, oh yeah, and everything has Claw. So while it only matters to my tree, the tree is going to have a hard game probably. Um, block your hands to heads on this Pestigore. Uh, is that Foul Appearance? That's Foul Appearance on this Rotter. Um, and no dirty player at least, so there is that. This, this is going to be rough. This is going to be very rough. After a wizard, how much do I have left? Because I was thinking wizard and Dolphar, but that was with the assumption that I wouldn't have kick. And I would like to have kick in this matchup. Some kind of star would be really good, though, simply because having an extra player means I can bench my one-turner, which is kind of a big deal. So he doesn't get inducements, obviously. Hmm. Because, I mean, I could grab an Apo. I could spend 20k and get Eldril. Dolphar is not an option. Willow is kind of shit. Zara is too expensive. Yeah. I mean, Willow would basically be line of scrimmage fodder. Eldril would be potentially really useful, but also expensive. And dipping into my treasury on a team that is notoriously cash hungry is meh. Yeah. An apple and a babe could work. But then I'd have to field my catcher on defense if, it, if we're defending first. Yeah, I think we'll just go for a wizard and Eldrill. That makes sense to me. It's funny, I, I really thought that my kicker was MNG, but it was the other three skill lineman who has Dodge Wrestle and Guard. So, 20k of our treasury spent right before a game where we are very likely to lose a bunch of players. Tonight could make this, uh, <clears throat> this season suddenly nowhere near as... Uh, appealing as it was before we started. Remember one game before we went to championship division, 
we had um, 13 healthy players and 150k in the bank. That's a first. <laughs> uh, we haven't played without journeyman in the champs division yet, I think. I did say if you want a unique and fun player, you should. It's just not wise. We will kick first. Yes. So what do we have? The kicker stays in, obviously. We don't have a dedicated carrier. No, wait, that's silly. It's not him that stays out, it's him that stays out. <clears throat> so this would leave my kicker exposed. Dodge Missile Guy on the line, he's gonna get tackled, Mighty Blow Punched for sure. I have my dancers able to act. Yeah, I think this makes the most sense. No need to give up a 3 die on the LOS too easily. Yeah, a mercenary is base price plus 30k. And then if you give them a normal skill, that's another uh, 50k on top of that. Merc line elves would be 90 if they are pro elves, yeah. Too damn high! Putting the tackle where it will be put to good use, that makes a lot of sense. Putting the other tackle where a blitz can put it to good use, that also makes a lot of sense. I figured there might be a carrier somewhere in this plan. square yeah there's oh yeah let's actually switch to this view let's also make sure we've paused the stream on these windows because that's a lot of extra bandwidth I really don't need to be using. And make sure we can see the bots. Alright, so back to the game. Uh, I said this side. There. That is fine. High kick. Unfortunate, but not a total disaster. Fail to catch, please. Good. Bounce, well, the wrong way, but that's okay. Starting with tackle doing a thing. We're going to see a lot of that because he's got three tackles. And one down, 10 or 11 to go. Yep. Well, that's what you get when you put skilled linos on the LOS, I guess. Two blocks, two Kaz. Ouch. This one is piling on. Three blocks, three Kaz. No, this is worse than yesterday's game. Yesterday's game, it took me three turns to get four Kaz. This is three Kaz in three blocks. Three 
Three die the rookie catcher, makes sense. He's gonna pick them both down. So that he can pile on easily. That's Hey, you're safe, Gadage. I guess I should have gone with the uh, Apos, huh? This is not great. Hmm. Yep. Not just the LOS Darkest Dung, it's four Kaz in four blocks. So we'll need at least four players for the one turn. Sure, Han's doing a thing. The gaze is not the relevant part here, he's just there to assist. Fuck. Sure. Better. Where's my Kaz, huh? He's got a frenzy somewhere. Right? No, he doesn't. He doesn't have a frenzy. Oh, he does. Yep. He does indeed. So many skills, hard to see. Well, at least I positioned it in a way that he couldn't surf that easily. Yeah, normally, if I come forward this much, I would also put one or two guys along the left flank. But if I wanted to keep both my dancers safe, I needed all the players I had to even get here. And this is a reasonable value target. Thanks, Dijin. I mean, with, with a turn one like that... Uh, my chances are really, really slim no matter what, right? We know that. Right, there's a beast on Eldril, which makes stuff bad.
I guess a three die on Heatherman seems likely. I think I need to reserve my Apo for the Agility 5 players pretty much. Because every player cast is a is a likely outcome of this game. And using the Apo on anything but those three seems like a waste. Even the tree. <clears throat> to be honest, the tree was kind of a mistake anyway. I knew that. Would be nice to see it live to block uh multi-block or something, but He doesn't really need to blitz that catcher, actually. Because he's got it stuck on the tentacles. He can just stand up and make this safe. He's got diving tackle on Rata. No tackle, though. <laughs> Blitzing Eldrill, okay. Both downs good enough, because Eldrill does not have block. Piling on. I will. I will, Beard. Oh wait, before I blitz this guy, I should dodge out here, because otherwise there's Diving Tackle on uh, Eldrill. I figured, but I thought I'd at least try. <laughs> Thanks, Jaeger. Okay, okay, that's fair. Now don't regen. Okay, good. No more diving tackle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Of course we don't. That's par for the course. See, that's why I figured he wouldn't blitz that, because he can just block it next turn. Tentacles doing a thing. Well, if I can get three more good players out, that would help. <laughs> uh, Jaeger? Uh, not on my account. I, I kind of appreciate it, actually. Thank you. Okay, that one lives for now. He still gets another three die. Yep, there's the pow. Okay. He's gonna put him there. He's gonna put him here, I guess. Yep. Hey, that's not a mighty blow. Good thing I drank beer before this match, because this is just so uh, brutal. Aww, thank you, Jaeger. Mm. I look forward to seeing you again in June as well. It was June, wasn't it? July, maybe. No, it was July. Welcome to Cabal Green Age.
Demu, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. That's much appreciated. For everyone else out there, if you have Amazon Prime, you also have a free Twitch Prime sub to give out every 30 days, but you need to manually do it. Nice, thank you. Right, here comes the punch against Eldriel. Three dice, gets him down, pows, gets the pylon as well. If he, well, yes, he does get the pylon. It's done, pylon. And Eldriel's gone too. So be it. All right. <coughs> Beast trying to get on that catcher does not succeed. This is our wizarding turn. Has to be. So he kills the tree next. No way to stop that, really. At least we can not get blitzed anywhere else this turn. Meparegri, thank you. Turn one was interesting, yeah. Fuck off. It's gonna be a quick one, so there's that. You know what? Fuck it. Let's fucking do this. This is such a cool glass I have. Look at it. Look at it. Can you see that at all? Because the, the reflection is a bit much. 
Yeah, you can't really see it that well. It's a skull! Yeah, the light is ruining it. It's a skull. It's awesome. This is also a very nice whiskey that my cousin gave me. And it's Japanese. And I never had Japanese whiskey before. It's mild and it's really, really lovely. I like it. And I kind of need it right now. Aww. <laughs> Thank you, Jaeger. Four, five, six, seven. That's a one die. He forgot about the plus strength. <laughs> oh, please die on this. Uh, no, sadly not. It would have been really funny if he got double skulls on that. The wizard fail really, really fucked me over here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The wizard was a one, the tree rooted. Figured I'd get behind him on my next turn. Pretty much, I mean... Well, we're a quarter in. Maybe I shouldn't have given him something to blitz this turn. Hmm. Hmm. That is good scotch, though. Well, not scotch. That is good Japanese. Yeah. So I'm going to call this game a 2 2 draw. It is this goat. Nope. Uh, an MNG or two. And that we heard so far. Some. Some mercy in that. Okay, fair enough. Kind of gave him that. Yeah, I never had Japanese whiskey before. Ooh, thank you for the resub! And we have a hype train going on. We have a level 2 hype train going on. What is this? Okay, fail. Fuck. He's going to accept that KO, I think. As am I, of course. A hype train unlocks emotes for everyone contributing. And a uh, special uh, hype train uh, conductor emotes for whoever does the most. Ooh, calf! Five gift subs. Wow! Dung, Drew, Seed, Kaz... And Goliath, thank you for being subs, and thank you, Kaf, for gifting. Aww. Well, there goes level two of the hype train, and level three is 95% already. Wow. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Goat, thanks for the resub as well. Six months. Nice, nice. And that puts us over the next level. Cool, cool, cool. So we get to blitz this. I'm not going to need it anywhere else. For fuck's sake. Well, at least he's not getting fouled, I guess. No, oh, he's not getting blitzed, I guess, I mean. 
Don't want to get surfed. Don't want him to be the one to get uh, Frenzy Blitz either. So, Choo Choo, all aboard the hype train. Level 4. Now, these do get harder as we go, but you also unlock more emotes with them, I believe. Nice. Thank you so much, folks. It is so kind. Hmm. It does make this really, really awful match feel better. Lucrative losing. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. To be honest, he could have actually maybe pushed for her. So... At least we probably... That's okay, Seed. I can I can buy the beers with that. <laughs> oh, this is really nice, though. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. Maybe I should have GFI just to get there. No, I'd already used the reroll on the. GFI here. No, on the block. True, Mepper agree. That's why I was calling it a 2 2 draw. Okay, that guy can die on this. That would be nice. Oh, and this one lives, so that's nice. So these are both plus strength ones. Oh, Jaeger, keeping the train going, my man. Thank you. Nice. 39% and two minutes and a bit to go. All right, let's get someone sent off then. Hmm, <laughs> steer car, thank you as well. Ooh, that's a cool little rainbow thingy. It's a unicorn. We like unicorns. All right, uh, we're not going to blitz these guys. What I could do is blitz that guy. I think I shall. Jump. Punch. Die. Not good enough. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could force him to make a single GFI there by making two myself, and I don't have the reroll for it. He's not going to make it with the tackle. I'm not going to... Am I going to foul that? Yeah, I'm going to foul that. Go! Thank you for the gift sub! Much appreciated! We are at 70% with 40 seconds to go! If we want to get this thing to the next level, then we're going to have to move. Woo! Barf bag! Thank you! For your subscription! Oh, we lost Githor. Well, he'll be back. <laughs> yeah, five more! Wow, that definitely puts us on 100%. And with eight seconds to go, we are on the next level. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Calf, that is 10 subs in the last... Wow! Robofan, Dexora, The Most Most, Max, and Azair. You're now all subs, thanks to Calf. Oh, sweeties. Pauza, thank you for the follow. Ooh. <laughs> Level 5 is already 77% with those 5 gift subs. I think Calf has a thing for me too. Yeah, I do. I really do. No. Well, I did give you a, a, a wife time sub, so 
And that's a level three. That's like 25 bucks a month. Just saying. <laughs> Thanks, Barfbag. And I'm glad you enjoyed the YouTube content. All right. 77% with four minutes to go. We can do this. We're at level five already. <laughs> yes, Monkey G. You were my first patron. First sub. Maybe both. And Calf's nice too. That's not a pow. I know, I know, but this is funny. He's gonna reroll that, obviously. That is the pow. Well, I kind of gave him that. I was gonna give him that anyway. <laughs> Trains are awesome, right? Oh, Corvain is safe. He's gonna pile on that, I think. No, he doesn't. Well, I'm not gonna have of that for sure. So at this point, he could consider not scoring. Dr. Carton, thank you for the follow and welcome. Right, so this is three dice against, of course. This is all four plus, three plus, two plus. <laughs> that is what the train does, yes. <laughs> it's a way to incentivize people to spend more on their streamers and on the platform, of course. Yep, absolutely. That is exactly what it is. Uh, and some people enjoy the competition. Some people enjoy the emotes. And yeah. Anonymous cheerer. Hi. Thank you. All right. 77%. Two minutes to go. The train is going to level six, hopefully. And onwards from there. There we go. Now we're down. Not spending my last reroll there. Ha! Who are you going to blitz now, huh? Mother forklift. Right, so he scores. <sighs> we get one out of five chaos. <laughs> <coughs> Well, we have four players. That's that's technically enoughish. <laughs> right, a minute left for the last twenty three percent of the hype dryan. He does not have kick. That's good. Rata is on 11, and Githor is on 31, so Rata is the right player to pass with. Well, the tree has strong arm, so I guess we could pass with the tree, right? I've got a level four hype train emote. And thank you, Jaeger. Aw. Do I wish I had a thrower now? Yeah, a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, close enough, I guess. Yeah, this works ish. Yeah, and that's just a matter of leaping over and dodging. All right, that was nice. We got hype train emotes. 
I'm surprised he didn't swarm the LOS too, given the the fact that I had to put three guys on the LOS, which means my one turner had to be one of those three. If I had five, it would be way harder to stop. So now perfect defense, I guess. Quick snap, okay. Well, that that's not awful, I suppose. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One GFI if the bounce is bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. None if the bounce is good. And one GFI less for the catcher who needs to run it in. So that's nice. The bounce is nice. That's good. Let's get a little Kaz in here, I suppose. Right, Rata picking it up on a two, that's good enough. Giving it to Eki, who catches it, of course. Runs to here. Oh, right, there was a bug with Leap and GFIs, wasn't there? Fuck. Leap's good. And the dodge into GFI. Well, that was hard. So, another shot at the KOs then, and 1-1 one, one, while kicking. Natural one-turners are awful. Thank you to all of my patrons for helping make this channel possible. Would you like players named after you too? Then you can become a patron via the link below. Cool. And awesome. Let's see those KOs. Come on, all of them back, all of them back. Oh, three out of four ain't bad. <sighs> So that means we have two, four, six, seven players, including Eldril, but we're missing our strip ball, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He can reach anything but the end zone. Okay. So plan is we blitz and kill the one turner. Then we score as late as we possibly can. Uh, did I say one turner? We blitz and kill the sure hands, and then we score as late as we possibly can. Now we need someone here. If he blocks this, then who blitzes? us? I'd rather block there. Ah, <sighs> okay. I uh, I hope she's uh, she's okay. And thank you so much, Jaeger. That was very much appreciated. And Calf as well. You guys are awesome. Uh, so we block that. That's a bit scary, actually. Come to think of it. But then we can blitz here. We really don't want that that beast to be able to get on our carrier, though. Extra reroll for the baddies. That's fine. Ball in hand. Okay. Ball in hand. Let's give it straight to the guy who needs it the most.
sure that's fine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a bit much to ask, but so be it. Would have been nicer if this guy went down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's better. Let's have not used dodge, so then I can come from here instead. Okay, let's put him on the tree, I suppose. Alright, that's okay-ish, then. <sighs> hey there, random boy! For a week or so, I guess? No, less, less. It's gonna be a couple of days. Oh, today and tomorrow. Random man in, like, two days, I think? Did I... Mark my calendar right? Yes, I did actually mark my calendar based on the number you mentioned. Oh, you are a man. It's your birthday. Congratulations, random man. Nice. <laughs> Happy birthday, dude. Hmm. Do you like seeing elves getting completely beat up? All four of these were from turn one. <laughs> Actually, after turn one, he hasn't made any cas. <clears throat> I have. Look at that. That's a diving tackle warrior. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thanks, mate. Ooh, what was that? What was that? What happened? I can't see. Uh Calf, a gift sub to random boy for his birthday. Oh, that is so sweet, Calf. And that makes 80 gift subs. Jeez, it's almost like you're my girlfriend. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Oh yeah, that misses with that plan, for sure. Yeah, unless he fills his GFI. Because I was hoping to leap from here to there and run off this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I could get here, and none of them can. I think I'm, I'm going to try and stall this. <laughs> oh, okay. I might have to blitz that guy, though. Oh, we can do that. Oh, tackle is the thing. I knew that.
That'll do. That'll do nicely. <laughs> Made you feel bad for the Nurgle. Oh, you big softy. Okay, we're stuck on the tentacles. That's fine. We don't mind. Should have actually just half died him. Hmm. He gets two attempts at the tentacles. And then we fail the dodge. Okay. <laughs> but this, this getting, getting to go all the way over there from all the way over here. Seriously, if we win this game two to one, that's, that would be so, so silly. Considering that turn one. Oh, that's not my whiskey. That's my Coke. Damn it. <clears throat> I mean, it's better than mixing it, but still. Mmm. Mmm. So much better. Bye, Eldril. This is the Orca-Cola Championship. Not only that, this is the Championship Division of the Orca-Cola Championship, for which there is only one. Contrary to the two Divisions 1 and the three Divisions 3, and I think the four Divisions 4, but I've never been there. I've played in Division 2 once. I've played, I've alternated between Championship and Division 1 quite a bit. And in the Orca-Cola Championship, there are no playoffs which means uh, every game counts. It's just 10 teams, nine games of round robin, and whoever winds up with the highest uh, percentage <coughs> wins the season. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I'll blame the whiskey. Ah, it's such a cool glass, though. It's such a nice glass. Oh, maybe you can see it like this. Yeah, you can. A little bit. There we go. It's a skull. Isn't it awesome? It is awesome. I'm not dead. Yes, I'll use dodge. No, I won't go there or there. He has blitzed already, so we can go here. Anyone can join OCC. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it is... Um, Eurocentric in the sense that um, coaches are expected to be available European prime time. You don't have to be from the European region, but if you can never play Euro evenings, then it's not the league for you. Other than that, anyone can join. On the drink menu tonight is this one. After four cas in the first four uh, in the first turn, <clears throat> yes. Four out of four of the first blocks were Kaz. And my wizard lightning bolt rolled a one. I actually paused the game and said, <clears throat> I need a moment for myself. So we could surf this guy with a half die, half die. If we escape the tentacles. That's not going to happen, is it? Hmm. <laughs> oh, you lost your ID the day you turned 18? Wow. Wow. That's harsh. <laughs> hey, I'm, I hope you have a great birthday, random, boy, random man. Happy birthday, dude. We failed uh, six KOs. We failed seven and we made three so far. Ha! Huh. So, if I don't put my kicker on the line, I'm putting an agility five on the line. 
I would have really liked heading in back. Yeah, no, it's not the kicker, it's the kick. It's the fact that the kick skill might make the difference. To be honest, it's not going to make the difference here. Um, we are going to draw, and considering turn one, we can thank Nuffle that we even get to draw. Two, four, six, eight, quick snap. Let's not all get on the tentacles. I mean, he's going to get all the blocks he wants anyway. Mm. Ah, that makes sense, uh, random man. But yeah, that extra turn of stall from the catcher was kind of badass. Oh yes, that tree is going to get clawed. Hell yeah! I mean, he's got seven claw mighty blow, what do you think? I'm surprised he's still there. Although that one die into one die... Oh sorry, that one die uh, uh, blitz on the tree kind of deserved skull into skull. More rerolls for the baddies. <laughs> I like that deal. He'd have to really try to punch him without claw. Yeah, that's true. Hookshot Pro, no perms, just badly hurt an MNG. And a lot of KOs. Uh, the team value difference was enough that I only had to spend 20k to get both Eldrill and a wizard. So that would be 150, 330. 330 TV difference. He's got five rerolls now, so that's cute. Here comes the three die. No tackle though. His team looks with all skills on. Well, you add a bunch of disturbing presence and foul appearance, regeneration. It's pretty bad. Satisfied? Never agree? <laughs> wow, so many subs in chat. <laughs> Holes, thank you for the resub! 29 months, wow. Does... Does movement one make it harder to get up than movement three? No, uh, th than movement two, I mean. Because honestly, it doesn't really matter that much. Then again, I'm I'm not sure my agree. I might just replace
I am so funny. No, don't pick up the ball. That's my ball. Yeah, good night, Calf, and I really look forward to seeing you tomorrow. That's kind of the thing, uh, Touch Freak. I mean, sure, I'll replace if I am if I, um, in the situation for it, but... Hi, Neb. Welcome. <sighs> oh, is my... Uh, I'll try and filter it out. That's my video card. How's this? Is this any better? So if we manage to have this guy plus four more, that would be lovely. Might be able to manage with three more, maybe. Yeah, unfortunately, the pitch shifts over time, which makes, which makes it a bit harder to filter out. I can see this peak on my filtering thingy, and then after I filtered a little while back, I, I see a new peak arise just behind, just beside it. So that's, uh, that's a bit underwhelming. Um, well, we have a one die. No, wait, we don't. That's where it's occupied. Never mind. I'm silly. This guy can surf. And we can't get far enough away to not get surfed, so we'd have to be like here. Which would at least be out of range from that guy, I guess. He can still get six dice on that, but at least he can't surf it. And to get the six dice, he'd have to roll more. Yeah, we can't really do much better. Let's see, this one can reach all the way up there. But at least I can make him roll a GFI for it, I guess. Ah, best I got right now. Hmm. So I don't get to one turn again unless he... There's three elves. <laughs> I... I, 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 hey, I have a PhD in psychology, okay? 
it's not very often that I get to make some kind of use out of it. He's going to get surfed. Nope, maybe not. Ah, oh, fucker. Well, my my field is cognitive neuroscience. Um, my bachelor's was in psychobiology. My master's was in biomedical science with a specialization in cognitive neuroscience. Uh, and my PhD was in psychology with the focus being cognitive neuroscience again. So I've always been on the interface between mind and brain. Uh, originally, I come from the biology side, but the, the the field in which I did my PhD was technically, or rather, the department was psychology. The field is not that much different. No, 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 there's a, there's another one here. Rata is still there. Hmm. Uh, that's, that's hard. Uh, <clears throat> random one. Thanks for the follow, Dawek. Yes, it came from the deep. I scored on turn eight, of course, with my one turner. And then uh, in the second half, I actually got to stall for a bit. I didn't have to score on turn nine or turn 10. On turn nine, I went like here and then he got in my way and put the beast in front. So I couldn't stall there, but then I realized I could run backwards, leap here, dodge there and go here, which he could not blitz. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Natural one turners are filthy, filthy things. Can we make sidestep optional? No, we cannot. Does the game ask you if you want to use sidestep if you're in that situation? You know what I'll do? Oh. Don't you motherfucking dare. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought I was actually going. <laughs> suffer one injury instead of two right that's that's the reasoning ha send off <laughs> Minus movement on the tree, and I still have my apo. <laughs> Maybe someone should clip that. <clears throat> ah, that was silly. That was really, really silly. Ah. <sighs> What a game. What a weird.
weird, weird, weird game. <sighs> A one for the winnings. Uh, that sucks. MVP went to the kicker. Mm -hmm. Validate this match, I guess. Considering we suffered four Kaz on turn one, and the lightning bolts fizzled. A draw is not half bad. A draw is not half bad. I don't think we have skill rules, though. Nope. And we don't have a tree. Gadash is out. The tree is, well, about as useful as it was before. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my content, then do press the subscribe button and the little bell, and I'll see you around.